Good evening. How are you doing? Let me teach you. How's everything? Are you ready for action? Let's begin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the English English for Work program, beginner four. Welcome to your English class. Today is Tuesday, September the 19th, and this is class two. The topic is have for obligation. Have for obligation. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. Participants will be able to give instructions about how to how some products have to be handled and stored. And this is the, the class objective. Participants will be able to create a conversation in which they use have or has to to explain obligations at work using the target grammar and vocabulary correctly. And in the agenda, we have who, preparation, have to, has to, don't have to, practice, and uh, to finish a diet. Okay, so this is in the agenda. Now let's go to the attendance. Hey. Hey. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent. Edgar Edel Nilsson Reyes. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Alexis Perez. Present, present. Excellent, nice. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Good evening, present teacher. Excellent, good evening. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilev Ramírez. Isela Guadalupe Martínez. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Jonathan Stanley Perez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Jose Daniel Cermeño. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Andy Natalia Sánchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Germán González. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Miguel Ángel Cortés. Noé Aníbal Good González. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Ok. Nice, very good. Thank you for being on time. Okay. So let's let's begin. Hi teacher, and um, this is Gisela. Um that's uh, my first class in uh, because I, and yesterday I don't connect because I don't, I don't have battery. Oh, okay. No, don't worry, it's okay, no problem. 
It's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Um, but I am here. I am here uh, right now. <laughs> yes, welcome on board. Welcome on board. Okay. We're going to begin discussing these questions. The topic is who? And you say who? Who, who? Who? Who is responsible for the different things that happen at home, right? So you say like, the purpose is to, uh, let's say, talk about a, a responsibility. To talk about responsibility. Okay, use a little bit, so I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, let's see. We're going to be asking questions about this. In your house, who cooks the meals? In your house, who cleans up the house? In your house, who irons clothes or clothes? And who takes, takes out the trash? Who waters the plants? Who feeds the pets? Who does the laundry? Who does the driving? Who takes the kids to school? Who does the shopping? Okay, possible, possible answers. <clears throat> I do. The possible answers can be, I do, <clears throat> my mom does. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> my father does. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome on board. <clears throat> or my sisters, my sister does or my brother does. Okay. Or my wife does. Or my husband does. Okay. So these are the pos the possible answers. So you say, something like this, who cooks, who cooks the meals? You say, teacher, I don't understand who cooks the meals. Okay, who prepares, Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Who prepares the food? Who cooks? Okay, you can say, I do. My mom does. My sister does. My brother does. My wife does. My husband does. Okay, so who cooks the meals? Who prepares the food at home? Who cleans up the house? Who does the cleaning, okay? And who irons clothes, say? Who irons, who irons clothes, right? So, uh, who takes out the trash? Who waters the plants? Who feeds the pets? Okay, takes out the trash, takes out the garbage. Who gets the bag of garbage and goes to the street with the garbage, okay? And who waters the plants? Who waters the plants? Who irrigates the plants? Who feeds the pets? Like the dog, the cat? 
who feeds who feeds the animals who does the laundry does the laundry or in a machine who does the laundry right who washes the clothes okay who does the driving who does the driving who takes the kids to school who does the shopping who goes shopping who goes shopping okay so these are the questions that you need to ask your partners possible answers i do my mom does my father does my sister does my brother does my wife does my husband does these are possible answers to this okay let's see let's go to the groups and let's ask our partners right now we're 14 so let's make two groups there are two groups Okay, the groups are opening. Please join. Um, debemos de practicar la, la conversación. No, no las preguntas. Yes, it's the questions. These questions. Yes. Um, the meal. I do. I do cook the meal. Well, in my case, uh, I live alone, so I do everything. In my case, in my case, I live alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the next question, who cleans up the house? Okay, perhaps someone can ask the, the other partners. You can say, for example, Esmeralda asks Daniel, okay, and says, Don Daniel, who cooks meals in your house? It's in the yeah. couple, practicing in the couple. Uh, no, because it's a big group. So maybe one person asks the first question to five or six people. Oh, then, okay. Then another person asks the second question to the other, to the same people, etc. So that everybody may participate. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. In my wife, sometimes I cook the meals, sometimes my wife does, or my son does. Ah, okay, excellent. Good, very good. Esmeralda, who cleans out the house? I do. I do the clean the house. It's 
Ok. Eh, Gabriela, who irons clothes? Uh, I don't know what is the meaning of irons. Permítame. Yo entiendo eh, planchar ropa. Ahí está él. Yes, planchar. Ok. Uh, in this case, uh, I do, I every day iron clothes of my daughter. Gisela, who takes out the trash? The trash. I do, I do take the trash. And you, who takes out the trash? Um, sometimes, sometimes I take out the trash. Okay, perfect. And Gabby, uh, who waters the plants? My mother, my mother does what is the plan. Oh, perfect. Me too. My mother, my mother loves what is the plants. <laughs> Perfect, partner. And who fixed the beds? My mother does. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Yes, because I am every day going to my job. Okay, perfect. And who does the laundry? Mm, wait. Creo que es lavadora. Andri, lavar la ropa. Lavar la ropa en lavadora, creo. Um, I, every Sunday, that's the laundry. Oh, perfect. Always. In my house, I do. I do all. I live alone. <laughs> In my oh. case, uh, my brothers does. Okay. A lot of people live alone. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ahí está, pues de acá de rojo. Edgar. Sí. Este es un penetrante. Vaya, floja, floja. Oh, number five. Who are the plants? Ok. <laughs> My, my case, my, my mother-in-law. <laughs> my father. In does. my case, my mother-in-law. My wife. <laughs> I don't have plants. <laughs> no plants. No plants. <clears throat> mm. 
Who feeds the pets? Who feeds the pets? In my case, my, my daughter, because she is studying veterinary. They have any pets? I have any pets. Yeah, no pets. No pets. In my case, my daughter. My daughter does. Your daughter does. Okay. Excellent. In my case, my brother does. Your brother does. Okay. Number seven, who does the laundry? I do. For my clothes, I, I do. I do, and wife, my wife does. My wife does. <laughs> Number eight, who does the driving? No driving. No driving. No driving, okay. Driving. No driving. No driving. I do. You do, okay. Number nine, who takes, who takes the kids to school? No kids. No children. No, kid, no children, okay. Mm -hmm. No children. They are not children. Okay. And number 10, who does the shopping? I do. My wife. I do. I do. My mom My does. Wife does. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. My wife does. Your wife does. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So you finished. Let's go then. Let's go to the main group. Okay. Twelve people are out. We're waiting for six people. Okay. Well, only 13 have come out. This conversation is between Maria and Mario, okay? Hello, Maria. What we have? <laughs> what are this you... is Mario is modern, okay? <laughs> so the conversation is between Maria and Mario. Okay. Very yeah. good. He <laughs> says, hi, Mario. Very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Very handsome, Mario, right? So, okay. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. And Maria, okay. pretty good. Okay. Hi, Mario. Hello, Maria. What are your responsibilities at home? Responsibilities? Yes. What do you have to do? Oh, that. I have to do a lot of things at home and at work. For example, I have to prepare classes. You see, I'm a teacher. 
Yeah, but that's at work. I mean, at home. I don't do much at home. I'm always working. Sometimes I cook or clean up the house. Oh, and who does the housework? There's a lady who comes on weekends. She helps us with that. I see. How much do you pay her? I pay her $35 a visit. Four visits is $140. Not bad at all. Okay. Again. Hi, Mario. Hello, Maria. What are your responsibilities at home? Responsibilities? Yes. What do you have to do? Oh, that. I have to do a lot of things at home and at work. For example, I have to prepare classes. You see, I'm a teacher. Yeah, but that's at work. I mean, at home. I don't do much at home. I'm always working. Sometimes I cook or clean up the house. Oh, and who does the housework? There's a lady who comes on weekends. She helps us with that. I see, how much do you pay her? I pay her $35 a visit. Four visits is $140, $140. Not bad at all, not bad at all. <clears throat> not bad at all, okay, check right here. And say, One hundred and forty dollars. One hundred and forty dollars. Okay. Let's see. Responsibilities. C is responsi, not responsa. Responsibilities. What are your responsibilities at home? Responsibilities? Yes. What do you have to do? Oh, that. I have to, I have to do a lot of things at home and at work. For example, I have to prepare classes. You see, I'm a teacher. Yeah, but that's at work. I mean, at home. I don't do much at home. I'm always working. Sometimes I cook or clean up the house. Oh, and who's, who does the housework? There's a lady who comes on weekends. She helps us with that. I see, how much do you pay her? I pay her $35 a visit. Four visits is $140 or $140. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, questions about the conversation? No question, teacher. No I'm question. Okay. Excellent, very good. Then if there are no questions, let's practice with our partners. I'm going to make smaller groups because I see that now we are more, okay? So that everybody may, let's see. I'm going to make three groups. At least you will be six in each group. Okay, you may share screen. Share screen and practice. You may join. Um, you start and and I okay uh, hi Mario hello Maria 
what are your responsi responsibilities at home? Responsibilities? Yes. What do you have to do? Oh, that I have to do a lot of things at home and at work. For example, I have to prepare classes. You see, I am a teacher. Yeah, yeah, but that's a word. I mean at home. I don't do much at home. I am always working. Sometimes I cook or clean, or clean up the house. Oh, and who does the housework? There's a lady who comes on weekends. She helps us. She helps us with that. I see. How much do you pay her? I pay her thirty-five a visit. For visit is one hundred and fourteen. Not bad at all. Forty. 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 One hundred and forty. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Alguien más? Eh, otra pareja? Yeah, but that's at work. I mean at home. I don't do much at home. I'm always working. Sometimes I cook or clean, clean up the house. Oh, and who does the house housework? There's a lady who comes on weekday on weekends. She helps she helps us with that. I see. How much do you pay her? I pay her. I pay her uh, 30, 35 dollars a visit. For visit is one hundred forty dollars. Not bad at all. Excellent. Okay. Next, uh, hi Mario. Hello, Maria. What are you responsible at home? Responsibilities? Yes. What do you have to do? Oh, that I have to do a, a lot of things. Things at, ha at home and at, at work. For example, I have to prepare classes. You see, I'm a teacher. Yeah, but that at work, admit at home. I don't do much I, at home. I'm always working. Sometimes I cook or clean up the house. Oh, and who does the housework? There's a la lady who, who comes on weekends. She helps us with that. I see. How much do you pay her i pay her 35 dollar a visit for visit is a uh, 140 dollars not bad a lot thank you okay. excellent good job thank you con quien me toca Okay, have you finished? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, you have finished, okay. Excellent. The other people are still practicing. So 
I'm going to check and see how they're doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, my partner practiced with me, Edwin Alcon. Mm -hmm. I am ready. Uh, perfect. Uh, hi, Maria. Hi, Maria. Uh, hello, Mario. What are your What are your responsibilities at home? Responsibilities. Yes. What do you have to do? Oh, that I have to do a lot of things at home and at work. For example, I have to prepare class classes. Classes. You see, I'm a teacher. Yeah, but that's at work. I mean at home. I don't do much at home. I'm always working sometimes. Uh, sometimes I could or clean up the house. Oh, and who does the housework? There's a lady who comes on weekends. She helps us with that. I see. How much do you pay here? I pay her $35 a visit. For visit is $140. Not bad at all. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Very good. Okay. Um, it would be nice if you could join this part. Like, um, let me say, but this is, of course, it's not obligatory. It's only something that you can do. Here, uh, this one, you connect it and you say, at all, at all. Not bad at, at all. all. At all. Uh -huh. Not bad at all. Uh, like here, I'm, all, I'm always, I'm always working. I'm, all, I'm always working. I mean, a, I mean at home, I mean at home, that's a, that's at work, okay? I'm a, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher, okay? I'm a teacher, that's at work, I mean at home, I'm always, okay? I'm always working, not bad at all, okay? So you, you connect. Connect those, and that's better. And there's a, mm -hmm. there's a. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Exactly. So you connect them in that way. What are, what are your responsibilities, right? What are your responsibilities at home? Okay. And so a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things. So it's just for the connections. Okay, I see that you finished. You finished practice. Okay, let's go to the main group. Let's go to the main session. Thank you. Okay, good job. Very good. Excellent. We're going to Teacher, be working on, on obligations. Thank you, Emeralda. Thank you. I was hitting the button to uh, unmute it, but it didn't work. Okay, so thanks. Okay. Um, an obligation. Normally, an obligation is introduced with, I, I have to. I have to, right? I have to. Okay, it means two things. Number one, you have no option. No option. 
Mm, psychologists tell you, you always have an option. Means if you say, I have to work, they say, well, you don't have to. If you don't want, don't work. The other option is not <laughs> eating. If you don't work, you don't eat. So you prefer to work so that you can eat, right? So if we if we say in that way, okay, but normally we say obligation, I have to, okay. And for you have to, we have to, They have to. Yeah. All of these go in the same way. Like, I have to, you have to, we have to, and they have to. But we have, he has, has to. Okay. She has to. Okay. He has to, she has to. Okay. Uh, some things that can be responsibilities. I have to work. You have to cook. We have to study. Study the lesson. We have to study the lesson. They have to go home. They have to go home. Their parents are waiting for them. So they have to go home. Their parents are waiting for them. Okay, obligation. He has to. He has to prepare a presentation. He has to prepare a presentation and she has to read a book. She has to read a book. Obligations. Okay. Um, the examples that we have here are, I have to study the homework. Normally we do the homework. We study the notes and do the, the homework, right? My sister has to clean up the house. We have to read a book. They have to be here on time. He has to pay attention in class. You have to finish your work on time. You have to start work on time and you have to finish work on time. Okay, let's see. Let's think about... Um, a secretary. A secretary has to do what? What does a secretary have to do? Write a letter or send an email. Okay. She has to write letters. Mm -hmm. She has to send or reply she can she can reply to emails uh -huh. okay what else what else does she have to do she print has a document print documents uh -huh. yeah she has to print documents what else she she programs meeting echo yeah that's right she has to program Meetings. Attend what meeting. Is, what attend meeting. Is, uh -huh. She has to attend attend meetings, right? Teacher, what is attend meetings? Be present. Be present in meetings. So she has to attend meetings. What else does a secretary have to do? She has to pick up the phone, right? She has to pick up the phone. I mean, what is that? Answer calls. She has to answer calls. 
Okay. Excellent. A secretary has to write letters. She has to send or reply to emails. She has to print documents. She has to program meetings. She has to attend meetings. She has to pick up the phone. She has to answer calls. Excellent. Very good. What does a doctor have to do? A doctor has to... What does a doctor have to do? He recommends medicine. Ah, okay. So he has to prescribe medicine. But before, what does he, what does he have to do before? Attend patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has to check. Check. Diagnose diseases. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Excellent. Diagnose diseases. Diagnose diseases. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're using Google Translator. Excellent. Very good. As to diagnose diseases. Mm -hmm. He has to diagnose diseases. Check patients. Listen to patients. Okay, why listen to patients? Patients describe symptoms, right? Uh, patients describe symptoms. They say, the doctor asks, how do you feel? And the patients say, oh, I have a headache. I feel dizzy. I can't breathe. I have a cough. So yeah. the doctor says, oh, Hey, you have this. He guesses, educatedly, right? Educatedly guesses. So that is diagnosis disease. Okay, he has to diagnose diseases. Okay, excellent. He has to prescribe medicine. So first, he has to listen to patients. He has to diagnose, well, listen to patients, check patients. Diagnose diseases and prescribe medicine. And sometime, this is yes. Sometimes missing holidays and brighter family. <laughs> oh yes, it's true. He sometimes <laughs> sometimes they have to be absent, right? Yes. They have to be absent because they have to work a lot. A lot. Some people think. Being a doctor is easy. No, no. no it's, difficult. All. it's difficult. My sister is a doctor. And oh. uh, it's difficult for her. She's my doctor. She sees me and uh, she's strict with me. But I am not so obedient. <laughs> 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 I try to be obedient. She's my younger sister. She's my younger sister, but I respect her authority. I have to, I have to respect her authority as a doctor because she's, she's my doctor. So, and I have to be obedient. I have to say, if she says, take the medicine. I have to take the medicine. She says, don't eat this. Okay. I have to stop eating that. So I have to be obedient, right? Okay, excellent. Let me see, another job, okay? Say a sales clerk. What does a sales clerk have, okay, have to do? Teacher, what's a sales clerk? A sales clerk is a person that uh, works, for example, at Siman or works a, in a department store selling things. So what does, what does a sales clerk have to do? Selling things. Uh -huh. Yes, a sales clerk has to sell 
uh, let's say items because we don't know what they are items is in general items items a, a sales clerk has to sell items maybe sell clothes telephones uh, or wares like fans or other things so okay has to sell items has to talk to people right a sales people. has to talk to people convince people to buy what else has to convince convince people okay what else customers are ah yeah okay uh, the people that he talks to are customers mm -hmm. well not necessary not always the cost okay people visit people visit the store they become customers when they buy if they don't buy they are visitors right they are not customers because they are only visiting but when the moment the moment when they buy they become customers so that's one of the jobs of the sales clerk to convince people to become customers okay that's one of the things okay also sales a sales clerk explains what does a sales clerk explain explain uh, the benefits of products okay explains the benefits of products what else what else does a, a uh, maybe reading to stumble when they enter the store people yeah exactly welcomes Okay, has to welcome, sorry, because it has to. Over here I put an S, but not a, not a no more. Okay, has to welcome uh, visitors. You remember? They are visitors. They become customers when they buy, right? For the moment, they are visitors. So a sales clerk has to welcome visitors to the department store, okay? Has to be nice and polite, okay? So, aha, uh -huh. let's see a waiter. What does a waiter have to do? What does a waiter have to do? Take a order. Yes has to take orders. Mm -hmm. uh, recommend the dishes. Yeah. Okay. First, bring the menu, right? Bring the menu. Uh -huh. And of course, like you say, excellent. Recommend uh, dishes. Okay. Recommend dishes. There's the food. And serve the food, yeah. Attend the clients. Yes, exactly. Wait, wait on the customer. Okay. Clients are usually only for lawyers. Lawyers in other old uh, jobs. So I'm going to just say lawyers, only lawyers. So, uh, but then customers, when there is a service or people are selling or they are giving a service, they are customers. Okay, so a waiter has to take orders, has to bring the menu, has to recommend dishes, has to serve the food, 
has to wait on the customers. Something else that is important has to clean the tables. Thanks. Right? Has to clean the tables. What else does a, does a waiter have to do? Wash the dishes. Yeah, many times, yes. Sometimes there is a dishwasher, but many times no. So yeah, many times they don't have or there isn't. So has to wash the dishes or do the dishes. Uh -huh. Exactly. Very good. Okay. So that's a waiter. A student. Now let's say go first with the teacher so that you don't say, I uh, you say the, the teacher has to. What does a teacher have to do? Prepare class. Mm -hmm. First, the teacher has to study the materials. Right? Then he or she has to prepare the class. Okay. What else? Has to doing exam. Yeah, has to prepare, prepare exams. Uh -huh, has to prepare exams. Has to help students. Mm -hmm. Check the homework. Has to check homework. Meeting, the, meeting with parents. Uh -huh, exactly. Has to meet parents. Check the attendance. Check the attendance. Yeah, exactly. Has to check the attendance. Correct. So these are some of the things that the teacher has to do. Teacher has to study the materials, has to prepare the class, has to prepare exams, has to help students, has to check homework, has to meet parents, has to check the attendance. Or if you can say, has to take the attendance. Or call, call roll, you say like, take, take attendance. We also say call roll. Call roll is take attendance. Okay, so this is uh, what the teacher has to do. What about the students? What does, what does a student have to do? A student has to... Pay attention. Wow, uh -huh. before, before has to come, come to class. Uh -huh. has, yeah, has to come to class, pay attention, do That's homework, the uh -huh. do homework, pay, pay attention. Ask about the topics. Echo. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, let me see. Present activities. Do homework. I write too slowly, sorry. <laughs> Okay, pay attention, do homework. Uh, what else? Ask questions, you say, right? Participate in activities. Participate in activities. What else? Study the lesson. What else? Do homework. Be punctual. Uh -huh. Do homework has to be, be punctual. Okay. Has to be punctual, study the lesson, participate in activities, ask questions, do homework. Okay. 
What else? Aquí puedes abrir la otra. Ah, está va. Abrir, abrir la memoria. No, no, abrirla. No, la otra, la otra. So you say, come to class, pay attention, do homework, ask questions, participate in activities, study the lesson, be punctual. Okay. What else? Share, share knowledge. Yeah, share knowledge. Excellent. And for complete. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, the last one, would you please repeat? Unit for complete. Complete the unit. Uniform. Ah, wear a okay. uniform. Wear yes. a uniform. Wear a uniform. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Wear a uniform. Yes. Wear a uniform. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, some of the things that student has to do. Okay, my dear students, I'm going to share this in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'm going to share the vocabulary because this is for you to think about. Okay, well, remember the topic. The topic is has to, have to, okay? So, I'm sending it to okay it's in the whatsapp group so now you have it there you go So let's continue. Okay. <clears throat> Normally we say like this. I, you, he, she, it, we use half. Right? Half. With all of these ones, I have, you have, but with these ones, sorry, say yes. like this, I'm going to put here. And these ones has, okay, has. So to avoid confusion, let's put barriers. For the first and second person, Okay. We use have, right? Okay, but for the third person, we use has. And for the last one, what do we use? For we, you, and they, what do we use? Oh. Half, right? Half. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let's also put one barrier around them. So we have, you have, they have. So the examples, the examples that we have are, I have to do homework. You have to clean up the house. She has to mop the floor. We have to attend the classes. You have to study a lot. They have to work late. Okay. Check this, the sentence. We have this part. It's important to pay attention to this part. Look. It's always the same. This part never changes is infinitive. Okay, what's the meaning? I have to do, you have to clean, he has to mop, we have to attend, you have to study, 
okay to do to study to cook that is infinite never changes it's always to do to study to play whatever this is the equivalent in spanish that we say are air ear right the ones that we say comer dormir hablar okay to eat to 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 eat to sleep to talk so then you say to do to clean to mop okay this is the infinity r e r r e okay so that is that is the one so for that reason what changes what changes this part changes we <laughs> I forgot that it's underlined. Okay, let me see. Um, the one that changes is this part. This part changes. This you can say, I have, or if it's she, she has. She has, but the other part doesn't change. You say, I have to do homework. She has to do homework. He has to do homework. We have to do homework, but to do doesn't change. To do doesn't change, it's permanently the same. So obligations, I have to. Is there an option? No option, I have to. So I have to do homework. You have to clean up the house. She has to mop the floor. We have to attend classes. You have to study a lot. They have to work late, okay? Let's see. Now, we're going to complete a, with our own ideas together in the groups. We're going to complete with this, okay? What do we have to do? I will give you an example. This is only an example. Um, I have to work today. Right. Right? I have to teach a class tonight. My father, my father is dead. I don't have a father and I don't have a mother. They are dead. So, but imagine, imagine, let's use our imagination. My father has to relax, okay, because he has worked all his life. So he has to relax. My mother, has to only watch me work, okay? Because she has worked all her life. My sister has to work. My brother has to work too. My grandfather is in heaven, but imagination, no? My grandfather has to, what does he have to do? He has to go to bed early. <laughs> and my grandmother has to go to bed early too. The teacher has to prepare the class. My boss has to uh, in, give me instructions. My boss has to give me instructions of what to do, okay? So this is about me. Now you have to complete about you, complete about your family. If you have your father, your mother, love them. Love them. Fathers and mothers are the best in life. When we don't have them, we cry. We don't have our father and mother. It doesn't matter. We are old, but we need them. We always need mom and dad, right? So pay attention to them. We have to listen to them. We have to be obedient to them, okay? Let's see. Let's go to the groups and let's practice completing as a group, okay? Okay. The group is opening, so you may begin. Join the group.
okay, you may, you may think and tell your partners and you can be completing if you want. If you can write, you can write. If you cannot write, no problem, at least say. Mm -hmm. You okay. can give ideas. You can give ideas of how to complete, contribute ideas, and then you complete the that. If you can write, write. If you cannot write, well, no problem. At least uh, orally, you can you can just say what the people have to do. Okay. Okay. I have to I have to do the, the dinner today. Yeah, okay. You have to make make dinner <laughs> to okay tonight. Yeah. <laughs> good dinner. Good dinner. Okay. <laughs> Delicious yeah. dinner. Delicious <laughs> dinner. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Continue. Has to cook. Yeah. My mother has to cook. My mother has Perfect. to cook. Has to My cook. mother has to watch TV. Excellent. She okay. has to watch TV. My sister has to work. Okay. Perfect. My sister watch to um, Netflix. <laughs> oh, she has to watch Netflix. Okay. <laughs> My brother has to sing. Perfect. My brother has to play the gamer. He has to play games. Okay. Play games. Play games. <laughs> okay. My grandfather, I don't have a grandfather, but mm -hmm. my grandfather has to has to take medicine. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Good. <laughs> My grandfather has to take the coffee. <laughs> ah, has to drink coffee. Okay. Has to drink coffee. Uh, My grandmother has to water the plants. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. My, My grandmother has to cook pupusas. <laughs> okay. okay. The teacher has to uh, has to teach English. <laughs> yeah, has to teach English. Has to explain the lesson. Okay. Mm, the teacher has to um, the teacher has to uh, listening. Listening has to, has to listen. Has to listen. Yeah. Has to listen the the to the students. The, the students. Mm -hmm. the students. To listen to students. Yeah. Okay. Um, my boss has to make reports. Mm -hmm. Has to write reports. Mm -hmm. Perfect. My boss has to. Go to the yard, the 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 home, the home. <laughs> uh -huh. Has to go home. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. You completed. Okay. Yes. You completed. Very good. Okay. Let me check what the others are doing, and then we go to the main session. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good job. And my grandmother has to take... go to the hospital. To go to the hospital, yes. Oh, yes. She has to take the medicine. Take the medicine, take the medicine. Mm -hmm. The teacher has to take the attendance. Yeah, has to take the attendance. 
or give the answer of the questions. <laughs> yeah, the teacher has to give the answers. <laughs> yes, it's true. My boss has to. How do you say aumentar mi salario? <laughs> increase, increase, increase my salary. Increase my salary. Yes. Uh -huh. Increase my salary. Yeah, definitely. Yes, Things yes. are very expensive. Things are very expensive. So, yeah, that's true. Okay, excellent. Let's go to the main session. Thank you. Yes, good job. Thanks. Okay, which of the two groups, my dear Angelitos, which of the two groups is an obligation? Which of the two groups represent obligations? The second. Second group. The second. Yes, with the second group, we can say, I have to, okay? or my brother has to. Okay? Or my sister has to. With the first one, no, because the first one is for fun. So what do we say in these ones? Wants to, I want to. Is it a, an obligation? No, it's an option. My sister wants to. My 
My brother wants to. So we say like this. This is funny. Okay. Okay, so let's put here fun. And let's put here obligation. Okay, so we say like this. I want to play games. My sister wants to play with, with friends. My brother wants to watch Netflix. I want to take a nap. My brother wants to relax. Is it bad? No, it's not bad. It's good. But is it obligatory? No. These are obligations. I have to study the lesson. I have to read a book. My brother has to clean up the house. My brother has to pay attention. My sister has to eat healthy food. My sister has to see a doctor regularly. My sister has to do a good job. Why are they obligations? Because somebody has told them to do them. Like for example, study the lesson, read a book, the teacher. The teacher said, hey, you have to study the lesson. You have to read a book, clean up the house. Your mom, the mom said, hey, you have to clean up the house. Maybe the teacher also said, pay attention. So you have to pay attention in class. Eat healthy food. The doctor said you have to eat healthy food. The doctor says you have to see a doctor regularly. And uh, your boss says you have to do a good job, right? So do a good, no a job. So here is extra. Okay, just like that. Do a good job. Okay, so obligations versus fun. I'm going to send you this to the WhatsApp group. Okay, this is my board. So in the board, I, I write the notes, but I prefer to share the notes with you. Okay. So. Okay, so you see the difference. Okay, excellent. Now let's continue. Let's continue. What do you have to do? What is obligatory to do to get married? What do you think is necessary to, to do to get married? If someone wants to get married, what are the steps necessary to do? Mm -hmm. uh, permissions, permissions of parents. Yeah, first you have to find the victim. <laughs> <laughs> find the volunteer, okay? If you don't have anybody to get married, you cannot get married. So you have to find a victim, and you have to find a, a volunteer. So you have to get your uh, driver's license. To get married? Is it necessary a driver's lesson, a driver's uh, license to get married? Thank you. Hey, so in, in necessary get a job teacher. Excellent. Yeah. Before. Sure. And this is good advice for the girls. Don't marry someone that is lazy. If not, you will work all your life and they will rest all their lives. <laughs> so look for a boy that is not lazy. Okay. Someone who works. So, okay, first you have to look for a volunteer, get a girlfriend. 
So next, you have to ask for permission from who? From the parents, right? Okay, of course, you have to propose. If the girl says, yes, let's get married. Okay, excellent. So you have a, a girlfriend, you proposed, the girl said yes, you have the permission of the parents. What else do you have to do? What else do you have to do? You have to plan the wedding, right? You have to rent a place, reserve a church. If you're going to get married in a church, reserve a church. If you're going to get married first in the civils, right? Uh, you're going to have a civil wedding. Okay, get a lawyer, get the witnesses. You have to get the witnesses. And then you have to spend a lot of money, right? Okay, the party is not an obligation. The money is better to use it for a house instead of for a party. It's better a house than a party. That is when you are old, when you are young, you think now oh, the party. And then you don't have money for the house. Okay, so then, but that's another story. Check over here. That is for getting married. What do you have to do to get into university? To enter university? What do you have to do? I have to do a, a good job, but to pay to pay the um, la mensualidad, teacher. You have to pay a, a, the tuition, but but you pay the tuition when you are inside the university already. But to enter yes. to enter university, what do you have to do? I have to study high school. Approve the high school. Uh -huh. You have to finish high school, present the grades from high school, fill out an application. What else? Take an take exams the psychological or the psychological exam. There is a psychological evaluation. And then a you pro a pies. Yeah, you have to pass pass the pies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it was not pies anymore, right? What was the name? Avanzo. Avanza, right? <laughs> Avanzo. Avance. Okay. Teacher, uh, before to um, choose the 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 career. Ah yes, you have to, exactly. You have to choose the, cor the correct career with my aptitude. Excellent. Yes, I agree with you. You have to get the the right career. I agree with you. Absolutely. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. somebody said Pais. She told me how old she is. Nah. <laughs> no. You remember the Pais was all, many, all, all. <laughs> yeah, many years ago, the Pais. Okay, so. Aha, uh -huh. okay. What do you have to do to get your driver's license? Right. Practice drive car. Yeah, take driving lessons. Driving. And take the exams. Appro pass the driving test. Uh -huh. Pass the driving test. Approve the visual test. Oh yeah, sure. 
pass the visuals, right? The visual test. If yeah, no Mickey, no license, okay? A pro so, psychology test. Yeah, that's also true. Okay. Excellent. Okay, what about get a job? What do you have to do to get a job? In order to get a job, what do you have to do? I had, I had to write curriculum, no sicko. You have to write a resume. I'm going to a write resume. here. Write a resume. Uh huh. So, go to a job interview. Go to a job interview and uh, present document. Present document, right? Okay. To start your own business. Imagine that you want to be, start your own business. What do you have to do? Plan the business. You have now, to. Now the product. Uh, uh, to sell? Exactly. Uh -huh. Plan the business. Know your product. Uh -huh. What else? Save money for the business. Excellent. Save money. Without money, nothing happens. You have to save money. You have to prepare a strategy. You have to prepare a strategy. What else? Work hard. Look on the player. Proveedores, teachers. Yeah, get the suppliers. Uh -huh. Supplier, supplier. Yeah, supplier. Uh, somebody else said something else? Search customer. Exactly. Uh -huh. Look for customer. So what? what is that? Advertise. Advertise a product. Excellent, very good. Let's continue. In negative sentences, in negative sentences, we say, don't have to, doesn't have to, and the verb and the complement. We say, I don't have to. I, you, we, they don't have to. We don't have to get up early on Sunday. Well, only to go to church. We go to church in the afternoon, okay. Not necessary to get up early. Okay. He, she, it doesn't. He doesn't have to get up early on Sunday. Okay, let's see. Uh, when you say doesn't have to, it means it's not necessary. It's not necessary or it's not obligatory. Okay, some people say, ah, it's Sunday. I don't have to take a shower on Sundays. <laughs> no, it's necessary to take a shower on Sunday. Okay, so but he doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. 
check over here. We use don't have to express absence of our obligation when something is not necessary to do. We don't have to go to school tomorrow. I don't have to work on Sundays. She doesn't have to worry about you. You aren't her child. We worry about our children. Other people don't have to worry about our children. Examples. The children don't have to go to school today. It's Saturday. She doesn't have to eat all the fruits. I don't have to wear a uniform at work. I don't have to check emails. Yeah, but I wear a uniform. So I don't have to check email. I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. My boss doesn't, doesn't have to clean the office. There is a person that cleans it for him or her, okay? Don't have to, doesn't have to. Don't have to, doesn't have to, okay? It's not necessary. Okay, with the conversation, you say, teacher, what conversation? The conversation that is here, um, this conversation. We're going to practice, we're going to read this conversation. Sorry that the order, put the order a little strange. Okay, check over here. This is a conversation between Aaron and Sam. Here they are talking about obligations. Okay, so let's listen. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say that they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, again, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan that they what they have to do. Okay, let's see. Max and Ivan have to do what? What do we say? Have to or has to? Has to. Has to. Uh -huh. Why? A day. Exactly. Max and Ivan are they, so they have to. Excellent. Number two, Aaron doesn't have doesn't have to or has to help store the boxes. Teacher, I don't remember. No problem. Let's look at here. Okay. Tell Max he has to store everything. So Aaron is a boss. So uh, or who is the boss? Okay. Uh, 
Paul, does Aaron have to help store the boxes? What do you think? Does Aaron have to help store the boxes? No, right? He is the boss or one of the bosses. What about number three? Sam doesn't have to or doesn't has to help. What do we say? What's the correct form? Um, who, who knows what the correct form is? Doesn't have to. Doesn't have, doesn't have to, right? Okay. The secretary have to or has to say they can use the lift. The secretary is she. Has to. Has to, right? <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Check over here. Before, then we're going to go and practice the other one. Okay. It says, I have to store these packages. They have to take everything to the warehouse. We have to ask for permission. The truck driver has to bring the material. He has to use the lift. Negative. I don't have to store these packages. They don't have to take everything to the warehouse. We don't have to ask for permission. The truck driver doesn't what? Is this correct? Is it correct? The truck driver doesn't has to. Check the, the two examples. Okay, this is from the manual, but, but, let me make the correction. Okay, let me explain what happened. Okay, you say, Mario watches TV. Okay, Mario watches TV, negative, negative. Well, but before we use a negative form, let's use you watch TV. Okay, you watch TV. Teacher, yo, no, you, you watch TV. To make it negative, what do we use? The auxiliary do. Auxiliary do plus what? Not. Right? That's negative. Okay, we put them here. Do not. Okay. But we make we want to make a contraction. So we go like this, eliminate the O and put the apostrophe. You don't watch TV. You don't watch what? TV. <clears throat> but Mario watches TV. Okay, do the same. Do not. Okay, and we say do not. But there is a difference. What's the difference? that Mario is third person. So Mario has ES. This ES moves to the auxiliary, right? 
un studio city here. And my okay, tu is das. Right? So what do we say? Mario does not and because the ES the ES is not with the verb anymore because it's with the auxiliary, we only use watch. Okay, Mario does not watch TV. Okay, but we want to make a contraction. What do we do? Make a contraction, connect here, eliminate the O. Okay, and then we have Mario doesn't, let's bring this down. Okay, so Mario doesn't watch TV. So notice, notice. This ES is here, so that we have thus, okay? If it's here, it is not here. Here, no more, right? No more, because it's here. Mario doesn't watch TV. Okay, the same happens with has to. Okay, I have to. Negative, do not, I do not have to, contraction. Bye-bye, and then say like this, I don't have to, I don't have to, but he has to, okay? And we say negative, you remember, do not, and then this third person goes to the auxiliary. You remember this one goes to the auxiliary. And the auxiliary becomes thus. For that we say he does, right? Not, and then have, because we don't have has anymore. in the contraction. So we put this together, bye bye all. So we say, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. No, he doesn't has to. He doesn't have to, okay? So what are, what are we saying? That, um, we need to make a correction here. This is wrong. This is wrong. What's the correct form? Doesn't, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. So we say like this, he doesn't have to use the limb. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. That's the correct form in this case. Affirmative, affirmative, I have to, he has to. I have to cook. She has to cook. Negative. Sorry, I'm going to change color. Negative. He, well, let's use first I. I don't have to cook. I don't have to cook. He doesn't have to cook.
Okay. He doesn't have to. Do you have any questions so far? Any questions? Okay. Here it's raining very hard. It's raining cats and dogs. But, okay. Don't worry. Let's see. Let's go to the groups and let's practice this conversation, okay? Let's practice this conversation, okay? Uh, but before that, what's the meaning of store here? Store. What's the meaning of store? Ideas? Save. Save. Excellent, Carlos. Very good. Yes. Save. Okay. Example. Where do you store or where does a farmer, where does a farmer store the, the grains, the corn, wheat, uh, all the, the crops that he produces? Okay, I'm going to say something different, easy. Where does a mechanic store his tools? Where does a mechanic store his tools? In a box, usually in a metal box. Okay, where do we store the food? In the refrigerator, right? We store food in the refrigerator. We keep the food in the refrigerator. So boxes, where do you put the boxes? In the warehouse. What's a warehouse? What's a warehouse? Ideas? Warehouse? Bodega. Bodega, right? Warehouse. So you store boxes in the warehouse. Okay, warehouse. In the warehouse. Okay, let's go to the groups and let's practice the conversation. The groups are opening, please join. Ok, ¿quién comienza? Hola. Comenzamos nosotros. Okay. Excellent. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. 
she's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Okay, thanks. Good job, excellent. Okay. Uh, with Ernest. They have to use the leaf, but ask and tell the secretary first. He's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Finish. Thank you, partner. Teacher, no sé si solo esto íbamos a practicar, que sí, hay una tormenta eléctrica y casi no escucho. Yeah, the same is happening here. Yeah, right now, this. Mm -hmm. okay. So, when you finish other, other pair, one pair, then another pair, when, you when the other pair finishes, then you can continue. Everything. With me, with me, Elder, with me. Hi, Elder. Casi me escuchamos por la lluvia, teacher. I know the same situation is here. Only that the rain is abating. Little by little is going down. Okay, so. Let's go to the main group. Okay. Thank you for your patience. I know that it's raining. I know that it's terrible, but don't worry. Just a couple of minutes more. Okay. Um, say like this, we have to complete the following sentences using the correct form of have to and the words provided. The company buy new materials. So what do we have to say? has to buy new material. Perfect, yes. Uh -huh. The company has to buy new material. Very good. How about number two? Has to buy. Yes. Your partners have to pile up Enough. containers. Have to pile up containers. Teacher, I don't understand pile up. Pile up is you put like this, one, another, 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 and you pile up. Yes. Okay. Put them, put some, then one more, another, 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 one on top of the other, and you pile up. Pile up containers. Okay. Um, how about the agents? The agents, what? Sign. <coughs> what is sign? Sign. The signature, 
like um say like this i have to signature okay signature sign uh-huh i have to so your the agents don't have to exactly don't have to sign very good don't have to sign the letter yes the agents don't have to sign the letter mr bonilla what mr bonilla Mr. Bonilla has to, has to, has to design new models. Design has to design new models. Excellent. Mr. Bonilla or Bonilla has to design new models. Uh, the group? The group doesn't have to. Doesn't? I doesn't. Uh -huh. Doesn't have to work. Doesn't have to work until late. Until late. Until late. Teacher, what is until late? Until is hasta. Hasta tarde. Until late. The group doesn't have to work until late. So you say the company has to buy new material. Your partners have to pile up containers. The agents don't have to sign the letter. Mr. Bonilla has to sign new models. The group doesn't have to work until late. Okay, so my dear students, uh, let's go to the attendance. Let's go to the attendance. Let's see, Adán Antonio Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Carlos Amílcar Campos. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Okay. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Eh, Edgar Edel Nilsson Reyes. Excellent, very good. Edwin Alexis Perez. Present teacher. Very good, nice. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Good night. Yes. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Gabriela Yamilez Ram Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Gisela Guadalupe Martinez. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Jonathan Stanley. Present teacher. Pérez. Excellent, Gladys. Jonathan Stanley Pérez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Jose Daniel Cermeño. Present teacher. Very good, nice. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Candy Natalia Sánchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Germán González. Present. Excellent, very good. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Miguel Ángel Cortés. Noé Amílcar González. Perdón, Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Estoy cambiando el nombre. Okay. Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Um, teacher. Es eh, aquí está lloviendo bien fuerte por si no le escucho, pero yo soy Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Excellent. Thank you, Gisela. Don't worry. Okay. Today, 
Blanca del Carmen Santos stays with me. The other people, okay. thank you very much for attending tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good thank night. You. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Be good. Okay. Blan Blanca de Blanca Santos. Okay. Santos. Yes. Uh, Let me see. Uh, I'm going to share the screen again because I stopped sharing. But okay. Okay. Um. Let's see. Do you have any questions about the things that we have studied? Uh, yes. Okay. You may ask. I tengo muchos problemas como para pronunciar, pero puedo leer bien. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, no. Nope. You want a yeah. suggestion about pronunciation? Yes. Okay. Sometimes we would like to be with you longer and have more communication with you. But sometimes there is a problem. We don't have the time. We don't have the time. We don't have, uh, we don't coincide. So I will leave you something that is permanently with you. I will show you. Okay. okay. This is. Google. I'm going to trans. I'm going to show it to you. Your partners were using Google a few minutes ago, so I'm going to stop sharing here and I'm going to start sharing here. Okay, this is Google. In Google, all you have to do is write translate English to Spanish. This yeah. translate. And imagine that you want to say where. Do I have to store these boxes? Okay. Yes. Where do I have to store these boxes? You have the English here, you have the Spanish here. So you understand what it is. But the important yes. thing here is the pronunciation. So let me share again because I want to share with sound. Okay, let me stop sharing for a moment. I'm going to start sharing with sound. Okay, share with sound. Okay, so what you have to do is, here you have a microphone and here you have a symbol of sound. Well, the, mm -hmm. the symbol of sound is the one that you click on. Where do I have store these boxes? And you listen to the pronunciation. Where do I have store these boxes? Aha, uh -huh. teacher, you and you didn't write two. Okay. So what's missing? Two. Okay. So. Where do I have to store these boxes? Uh -huh. Where do I have to store these boxes? Okay, so you can okay. hear and you can hear it many times, as many times as you need. And any phrase that you want, you can put it here. Like if you say, mm, I need help. Okay, I need help with pronunciation. Okay. I need help with pronunciation. I need help with pronunciation. All right, this, if you want to make it in reverse, you don't know how to say, you say, you say, tengo muchas preguntas.
take. Then on the other side, you have, I have many questions. I have many questions. So you listen to this. I have many questions. I have many questions. Okay. So if you have something that you don't know how to pronounce, you can put it here and listen. I have many questions. Okay. And then you imitate. Imitate the sound. I have many questions. I have many questions. I have many questions. If something is complicated from the class, imagine that from the dialogue that we had, there is something like, this I cannot copy. We say, I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. So you write it. You write here. Again, okay. we go back to English and we say, uh, I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, so I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. So you have the translation here, but here, I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, so this is a tool that is permanently with you on the phone or on the computer. So okay. if, you, if you want to use it, it helps you with pronunciation. Okay? But okay. Imagine that you say, no, teacher, but uh, I would like only the word. Okay. Then you say, for example, uh, what? Imagine that you have secretary. You write the word secretary, who says retro secretary, no? Say retro. Okay, let's eliminate this. But, uh, we have secretary and we have pronunciation. You write pronunciation after it. Okay. okay. If you want to include in English, right? pronunciation. And you have here. And then you can click on the same symbol. Secretary. 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 Okay. Secretary. Secretary. And then you have the pronunciation. Okay. So this is with pronunciation items. This is true for English, for French, for Italian, for any language. You have the translation and it gives you the pronunciation. Okay? Okay. So I hope that this helps you. Okay? So do you have any other question? Uh, not yet. All right, excellent. Then I let you go so you may do the homework. And I'll see. Uh, yeah. Que se eso es lo que tengo problemas. Yo tengo las ideas, pero no puedo como armar la oración. Entonces, ayer la hice. Mi la tarea hoy la voy a volver a hacer. Ah, okay. No problem. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Little by little, okay. Little by little. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's not. It's just Little by little. Little by little. Little by little. Thank Don't you, work. teacher. Sure, no problem. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. So basically, when you talk about obligations, an obligation is something that somebody has asked you to do, or someone has ordered you to do, someone has commanded you to do. Okay, so 
someone in authority. It can be your doctor, it can be your boss, it can be your father, your mother, the teacher, or it can be your wife, okay? Remember, the wife has authority too. So if she says, hey, you have to do this, well, you have to do it, right? It's an obligation. We cannot confuse obligation with pleasure. Pleasure is something that we want to do, okay? But an obligation is something that is necessary because somebody is telling us to do it. So that is an obligation, okay? So we have obligations at home, we have obligations at work, and we have obligations in life in general, okay? So we have to be responsible at work, at school, at home, with our own lives, taking care of our lives, being responsible, like not having vices, uh, living a good life, okay, so that we may live long, okay? Thank you very much for attending tonight. We stop here tonight and I will be seeing you tomorrow, okay? Good night, take care.